Hey lovers, this is Bella Dutch from All Sing I Tarot. Here with the Weekend Romance Report. This is going to run from April 3rd through the 6th. Please forgive me guys, I know you guys were looking for me for the weekly read. And what ended up happening is I lost my phone. So all of the videos that I had previously recorded over the weekend were gone. And um, Samsung's doing this new thing with the cloud and they suspended all of, you know, uh, the things that I would upload to cloud. I don't know what's going on with these. I don't know what's going on with these gadgets, y'all. So forgive me. Yes, I am still quarantined just like you guys. Look at my goddamn nails. First of all, I want to shout out to Annie. You know who you are. She's my nail tech. Um, I need you to get in touch with me because I need my nails done. I don't have the fucking corona, okay? And if you don't have the corona, I would gladly meet up with you and pay you extra to do my goddamn nails because I don't know what the fuck I would do. And they just extended the uh, quarantine for Pennsylvania um, up until like April 30th or whatever. So uh, we're kind of screwed. And I can't get these things off. I don't know how to get my nails off, y'all. So... Um, that's just for Annie. That's my nail tech. All right. Anyway, guys, I love you much. I just wanted you to know I did not forget about you. I know that things are going crazy, especially with my air and earth signs. Um, and the reason being is because you're in the pre-vertex stage, okay? So your vertex is happening at the end of this month. So um, this is going to pull in uh, all sorts of lessons, um, any unfinished business that you haven't taken care of. Uh, doors that you have not shut, exits. Um, some of you are going through, um, how could I put it, a state of confusion because you don't know what is happening. You might have seemingly had the perfect relationship and just out of nowhere, your relationship of a long time has up and ended and you're wondering what's going on. Are we going to get back together, Bella? What is happening? And the only thing I can tell you as of right now is that you're in that pre-vertex stage. You need to check if you were thinking about missing any exes um, or focused on any previous people that you were with. Okay, this is for my air and earth signs. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so um, if that is your sun or rising at the end of the month, as soon as the vertex hit, I'm going to run that special for you guys the same as I did for my fire and water signs. Okay, if you have a rising in air or earth, you're definitely going to feel the remnants of that. Your relationships could be affected as well. Okay, um, just as if it was, you know, with. Um, water and fire if you had a rising in water and fire some of you noticed that your relationships changed a little bit there were some important lessons that you need to incorporate um the best way i can describe a vertex is sort of like judgment day so it's it's like having a review all year long okay or since the last vertex the last earth and air vertex um i think it, it was at the end of july of 2019 and it ran into october so from that moment until now, what have you learned? You know, you have some exes that maybe you keep letting in and out of your life that mean you no good. The relationship could be toxic. Um, it's not conducive to your growth. And it may be time to hang it up, okay, or let it go. Uh, some of you may be praying and asking, you know, I want someone that's for me, or I've been single for so long. Is there anyone for me, okay? What I need to do is really get in your head and figure out if you've been single for a very long time and you haven't had anybody come in your life, it could be due to the fact that there's unfinished business with someone that you were with previously. So what do you think about when nobody's around, when you don't have Bella to watch or any other reader that you watch? You know, what do you think about when you're by yourself? What do you cry about? Okay. Where are your biggest or deepest fears lie? Okay. Um, so yeah. I'm here for you guys. You know you can hit me up right now. I'm running up to the minute. That's a dollar a minute. You choose the minutes. Um, hit me up at allseeingitarot at gmail.com, okay? I'm running that specifically due to the crisis and the quarantine, okay? Because I understand that people, you know, we're just out of money <laughs> all over the U.S., you know? People are not being able to get to work. They're not able to uh, get to their jobs or whatever. They've been quarantined. Some businesses have been shut down. So it's a really a hard time for the U.S., and I definitely understand that. But do realize that I run a business. This is my main source of income. So if I'm not making any money, guess what? 
I can't pay the cable bill or the internet bill to keep videos coming and pumping. So I do understand that. So I try to drop as reasonable as I possibly can. Okay. And a lot of you, you get in my email and you say, Bella, you are dropping so cheap. You're, you're worth way more. I do know I'm worth way more, but however, I'm for my people. Okay. I'm not just out here looking to make a million dollars and just tell you guys whatever. I'm here to change lives. That's what matters to me. Okay. You have to find out what has purpose to you. What is meaningful? What do you want to be known as? If I die tomorrow, people are going to know Bella Dutch. Okay. If I die to, because of what I've done for the community and you have to ask yourself, what have you done for the community? If you die tomorrow, if God forbid you caught this coronavirus and it was over for you, what are you known for? What legacy did you leave behind for your children? Okay. What type of person are you in your heart, inward and outward? Okay. So these are the things that is going to be really, um, reflected during this vertex for my earth and ear signs. All right, April 3rd through the 6th, let's see. Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for collective this weekend? April 3rd through the 6th, what changes are coming about that are worth talking about? Show me. First card out, we have the Page of Wands, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Strength. Under the Page of Wands, we got the King of Cups. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this water sign energy. I'm telling you, we're having some real bad problems with water sign energy. That's Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Under the Three of Swords, we got the Five of Swords. Under the Seven of Cups, King of Swords. Okay, Aquarius and Libra just got pulled in this. Under the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Five of Cups. Under the Strength card is the High Priestess. The overall energy for the weekend is Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, so. Let me get my hot coffee. Hopefully I don't burn my lips off. Mm. That's fucking Contigo cup, I swear y'all. <laughs> Be careful when y'all drinking out of those Contigo cups, because I'm telling you, it, especially when you just make the coffee, it'll burn your damn throat out. Okay, so anyway, let me get to it. So I want to call out Scorpio Pisces, Aquarius, Libra. Okay, now, I could be speaking to um, those individuals that may be married Cancer as well as Mary Gemini, okay? What this says to me is there is, it looks like a breakup had took place a while back. And the two of you have resurfaced into each other's life and you thought that you were coming together to work out your differences, okay? Um, sort of heal through some sort of betrayal that may have went on. Now, looking at this Aquarius Libra here, <clears throat> King of Swords, the Seven of Cups would say that this person had uh, misconception or uh, a vision that was not possible. Okay, so it's, it, this individual is looking for a partner that is not possible for them. Okay, possible for them because a lot of us tend to want or dream of a relationship with a particular individual that we're not ready for okay we're not ready for these relationships that we're, we're hoping to get or hoping to receive okay so you can't get a hundred percent perfection so when you go off to meet somebody whether it's a female whether it's a male you might have five things on your list that you want in a partner okay and out of those five this scorpio pisces may have been three but they got two other things that's just almost impossible for you to accept, okay? So it, it's making it very difficult for you to stay within that relationship with that particular individual, right? Now, with the Page of Wands and the King of Cups, I feel like this person is AWOL. This person is, is having a lack of communication, Scorpio Pisces, all right? 
this person may not be communicating uh, how they feel. All right, because maybe they feel like, you know, I talked enough or I've done enough to prove to you that I want to be with you. But your standards are so fucking impossible. You know, you want perfection and I'm not perfect. I'm who I am. Either you accept me the way I am or you let me go. So what I see with this three of swords and the five of swords, I see two people that are trying to come back together. Okay, two people that are trying to come back together. They're trying to communicate. They're trying to talk and get back to that uh, sense of perfection. All right. You know how when you first meet someone, it feels real good. You think about this person all the time. You anticipate what it would be like to have sex with them. Well, that's where this Aquarius Libra's mind is. Okay. They're looking for how it used to be in the beginning. All right. Now, there's already been damage done. There's already been um, some sort of infidelity because the three of swords with the five of swords would say that maybe this Aquarius Libra is going after this Scorpio Pisces and the Scorpio Pisces already have someone. Okay. Or it could be vice versa. You know, maybe the Aquarius Libra already has someone, but they want their cake and eat it too. Okay. They want that king of cups. So somebody wants the other individual to be in their life, but accept something that is totally against the other standards. Make sense? Okay. We have some sort of communication that, you know, uh, basically had took place recently. You guys reconnected. But when you reconnected, um, you notice that this person was still hiding something. So I'm going to tell you how this looks. Let's say that you've been with someone for a very long time. All right? Now, remember the zodiac signs I pointed out. I got to move this. Okay. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra. You've been with somebody for a while. Y'all been together for about maybe five years. Y'all always fight and argue. And y'all always break up. But you never break up to the point where they move out of the house. Okay? So what has maybe recently happened is that you guys broke up and it was a really bad breakup. Break up, and that person moved. That person left. Okay? And when that person left... The other one was depressed. They wanted that person there. Now, when that person was there, you was fighting and arguing and unhappy with what they were giving you, okay? But however, being alone has made you realize that you can't live without this person, all right? Now, it could be either or, all right? I'm going to say 90%, 90% may have been the Scorpio Pisces didn't recognize the good in the Aquarius Libra, all right? Um, maybe uh, when the two of you broke up, the Scorpio Pisces may have gotten back involved with somebody that they were already dealing with. But with this Five of Swords being here and the Three of Swords, it kind of says it's like a catch-22. So it's kind of like the universe is saying, Scorpio Pisces, why would you start up something new with this Aquarius Libra and you still had someone? You, you had one foot in and one foot out. You were still involved with your baby's father, still involved with your baby's mother. You know, you were still dating multiple people. Okay. This Aquarius Libra, now let's just flip it around, okay? It could also be that the Libra, the, the uh, Scorpio Pisces really liked that Aquarius Libra. However, they did not like the fact that the Aquarius Libra didn't put them first, okay? They didn't feel that they got enough attention, because I'm looking at this page of wands, the three of swords, five of swords. I take everything into consideration once the cards is laid. I try to read the story the way they're telling me, okay? So what this could basically say is that I have just gotten out of a relationship. When I look at this king of cups, Scorpio Pisces, I just gotten out of a relationship. This relationship was very toxic. It was very hurtful, okay? However, I'm still involved with this person in some sort of way. I'm still involved because maybe we have kids together. So I still have to communicate with my ex. All right. Then I ran into this Aquarius Libra individual and this person seemed like the man or woman of my dreams. All right. They seem like the man or woman of my dreams, but I don't like that they put their mother first or put their mother before me or put their, you know, uh, friends before me. Okay. Or they always leave me hanging or they always leave me um, waiting. This person has a problem with trust. Okay. So the Scorpio Pisces is looking at this Aquarius Libra as damaged goods. All right. This person is damaged. They're not really ready for a relationship. And it makes me feel quite insecure. Notice how I'm jumping back and forth because I'm talking. I'm, I'm speaking in the way that this Scorpio Pisces is trying to communicate with this Aquarius Libra. 
it makes me feel a bit insecure. I'm not used to that. I'm used to having my man live with me, my woman live with me, or I'm used to having us together and I'm used to becoming first to this other individual. Okay, but when I get with you, you kind of make me fight a little harder. You kind of make me um, accept things that are out of my comfort zone. All right, so with you doing that, I cannot let go of my ex 100%. All right, because the five of swords is sort of like you're damn if you do, you're damn if you don't. Okay, it, it's also like trying to get away with something, or okay, you you start a relationship, but you know you can't be a hundred percent in this new relationship because you're still dealing with someone else. Okay, so you lost both ways. All right, another way that the five of swords could pop up is that you thought that you were getting away from a dog, a player, especially with this three of swords being over top. Okay, so my ex devastated me, my ex used me, hurt me, cheated on me, and I met some else who happens to be Aquarius Libra well you didn't meet anyone different okay kind of lining up with what I say all the time the lesson stays the same the people may change but the lesson stays the same because it looks like you ran into the same similar energies okay you, you letting go of your ex that you've been with for a very long time it's not going to give you a perfectly brand new uh, man or woman this person is still teaching the same lesson all right so the insecurity that you may have started to feel with your ex, you're going to also feel it with this King of Swords, maybe even 10 times worse because you haven't spun any time really with this King of Swords. All right. So you, you really don't know this person. I want to let go of my ex. Okay. Whoever my ex was, I want to let go of this person because they had an issue with cheating. Okay. I run into the King of Swords, but this King of Swords, they don't cheat. However, they put everybody before me. Okay, or they seem to have a lot of options. I'm always their last thing that they, they get to. Okay, so it's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. You still ran into another person that doesn't make you 100% happy. Okay, then we have the Ace of Pentacles and we have the Five of Cups, the Strength card, and the High Priestess. Now, when I see this Ace of Pentacles with the Five of Cups, this could represent that there may have been some sort of situation. If you look back to my readings, I had Scorpio Pisces pop up on pregnancy. Okay, <clears throat> as well as Aquarius Libra. When I see this Ace of Pentacles with this Five of Cups, for some reason, I'm feeling as if this could be um, pregnancy, abortion. Um, there's something here where having this child is going to cause a loss somewhere. Okay, now for some of you, you you're pregnant right now and you're going to have the baby, but it's going to cause you to lose that ex, you know, that security blanket that you feel here that you really didn't want to let go of. OK, and then getting with this Aquarius Libra is not 100 percent security either because this person still has to teach you lessons. All right. So they still have issues that you're unhappy with. OK, so you just traded one difficulty for the next. Looking at the strength card with the high priestess, it kind of says to me that maybe this king of swords has a problem with time. They have a problem with spending time with you. Okay, so it's kind of like, yes, you found out you're pregnant, but you're going to be alone raising this kid. All right. Now, this could flip a totally different way. And this could be I'm talking to maybe the woman is Aquarius Libra. Okay, and she's pregnant right now. And, you know, maybe her ex, I don't know, maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, fire sign, whatever. But um, she's pregnant right now, but she has to let go of or get rid of the ex or her security blanket, whatever her security blanket was. And she's dealing 100% with the King of Cups. So this could be Scorpio Pisces. Another way that it can go is that the person that you're pregnant by is not on this board. It may be the ex. OK, and maybe you have been dibbling back and forth with your ex while you're messing with this new person. And, you know, it the baby being pregnant destroys the relationship that you had with the other person, you know, with your sad dude or whatever, sad, sad guy, or whatever. Connect with me. I'm going to clarify some of these cards for you because this looks like a dilemma. Give me that king of cups. See, we got the Four of Cups on the King of Cups. Okay. So this is like an unwanted pregnancy, wrong timing, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. So this could be a, a something that the universe gives you, but the timing is wrong. All right. So what I mean is that if you are Scorpio or Pisces and you're pregnant right now, you know that this is the worst time to be pregnant because 
maybe like I said, you're still in love with your ex. Now, this could possibly work as you can't go and get rid of this baby. You can't have an abortion due to the quarantine. Okay? You, you can't get to a hospital. You see what I'm saying? So you're waiting. You're, you're just sitting back and you're waiting until the laws are lifted and you're able to go and, and get an abortion. Okay? Because I would, I would reckon that all, all clinics would be closed. Break me down on that seven of pentacles. However, Finn. So this talks about hierarchy. Okay? So, so like the government, uh, government laws, government officials. All right? So I definitely see this as being... There's something that is standing in the way of getting rid of something that should be considered a blessing. It's not really a blessing at all. It's a burden at this time, okay? I'm pregnant, but I'm still in love with someone else. I'm pregnant, but he has a wife. You know, the, the person I'm pregnant by, he has a wife or he has a situation already. Um, give me the four cups. The queen of swords. So, this, yeah, this is you all day, all right? You might be trying to decide, I'm telling you. By looking at these cards, nine times out of ten. Ace of Pentacles, five of cups. Looking at these cards, if you are Pisces Scorpio, you want an abortion. Okay, that's what it is. You want you want to get rid of this. This is wrong timing for you. Okay. Maybe you already have a lot of kids. You've already been down this road before. You know what it has to offer. It could even be that you got pregnant before you were able to see the true signs of this Libra uh, uh, Aquarius. You know, you thought that they were going to be there. They're going to be there forever. And then right after you got pregnant, this person kind of like disappeared on you. So you're like, oh, my God, I got to hurry up and take care of the situation because I don't want to lose what I got going on on the side. And I told you what you probably have going on on the side is your ex, <clears throat> somebody that you've been messing with on and off for a while. OK, you don't want to fuck up whatever you got going on. There's something else. There's not just. You're 100% faithful to this Libra Aquarius person. No, there is. I, I'm pregnant by this Libra Aquarius person. I thought it was going to work out, but I'm still in love with my ex. Or I just had a baby by my ex-husband. Or, you know, there's something else going on. Trust me. Okay, let me see. Break me down on Three of Swords. Let's see that Three of Swords. Queen of Cups. Okay, maybe this is the ex. Cancer Pisces. Tell me more. Temperance. See, yeah. This is the X, y'all. Look at that. This is the X. Okay, so what I'm looking at is Scorpio Pisces and your ex-boyfriend, baby father, baby mama, whatever the case may be, this Queen of Cups. This is a water sign. So this is double water energy that I'm feeling. You're trying to reconcile and come back together in a relationship that you've been in, in a long for a long time. Get the two of wands. And what this says to me is, I thought I wanted to move forward, Bella. I mean, my baby's dad, my, you know, ex, my ex-cancer Pisces was cheating on me. Okay, and I thought I wanted to move forward. I thought I can go out here and find something better. And now I'm pregnant. And this stands in a way of me trying to reconcile with cancer Pisces. I'm telling you, this is what was going on for a lot of you a few weeks ago. Okay, so you're probably not, like... A week pregnant you're probably literally like maybe a month or two months okay because I've seen these the same energy all the way back from December okay where there is a baby that's getting in the way of you trying to reconcile now why is the universe doing this to you Scorpio Pisces Scorpio Pisces the universe is doing this to you because this relationship is dead all right you have yoked this situation for everything that you can get from it. It has run its course. That means that you've run out of lessons to teach one another. It's to the point where there's so much damage that maybe this Cancer Pisces has done to you that there is no more trust there. Okay? There's no trust there. Um, and, and it could even be that this is a karmic soulmate, but you're coming to the end of your contract. The universe wants you out of this situation. So they use this sort of detour in order to get you out of this situation. Okay? They want you to let go of your water sign. Remember I said my water sign's going crazy. Something's going on with water signs. Real heavy. Okay? Especially if you are water signs and you have rising in earth and air. Clarify the five of swords. Three of swords, see? Yeah. This is the interference in the full. Ooh. Okay, now, see, I, I don't know why it's this Sagittarius Leo. I have a Sagittarius Leo here. Now, nine times out of ten, I'm going to tell you something. Nine times out of ten. Y'all know I'm good, right? I'm going to give it to you. 
Nine times out of ten, this is your ex. Okay, I'm looking at Scorpio Pisces that was involved with other water signs. This person betrayed you, broke your heart, and left you for a fire sign. Leo Sagittarius. Okay, that's the person that they went off to. Putting you in a situation where you tried to move forward and you ran into an Aquarius Libra. You were trying to start over and start new. It looked like sort of like a competition, you know. You, you were only doing it because maybe you were hurting and you didn't have anybody to talk to. Maybe it was an embarrassment. I've been with this person 10 plus years. And this motherfucker had the audacity to betray me. Maybe they had a baby on you with a Leo Sagittarius because I also seen that a few weeks prior. Okay. So you're trying to move on and, and, and you're moving too fast. Okay. I say you're moving too fast because you ain't got no fucking business sleeping with this Libra Aquarius without protection. Why would you put yourself in that situation? Trying to get back at this motherfucker. Okay, that's what happened. You're trying to get back at this motherfucker. Another way this can be. Leave, um, Scorpio, not Scorpio, I'm sorry. Another way this could be, this could be backwards. Your Aquarius, Libra, this is your ex. Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Leo, Sagittarius may have cheated on you with a water sign. Pushing you in a direction or, you know, it, it just looks like, okay, so you might be Aquarius Libra and your person that you may be pregnant by, okay, is a fire sign, Leo Sagittarius. But their partner is Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Okay, that's the other person. All right, so you see how these energies flip? This is why I can never get it 100% on who's going through this. I can only see the energy of the signs. All right, but I can guarantee you, if you're involved in these relationships with these signs, this is the shit that's going on with you. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so like I said, if you're Aquarius Libra, you found out you was recently pregnant by Leo Sagittarius, this person is gone. All right, this is a breakup. All right, you're contemplating abortion. You're probably contemplating abortion because he has left and went off with this water sign, Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, or Scorpio. That's who he's involved with, all right? So that's for those of you that are Aquarius, Libra, and you got pregnant by a married man, or you got pregnant by an individual that's been in a relationship for a very long time, all right? Okay. All right, here. Let's see. How's this going to play out? <clears throat> you might be asking, how's this going to play out, Bella? All right, so right now... Seems like all bets are off when it comes to being able to get rid of this problem you created for yourself. All right. So you're probably not able to get an abortion right now due to the quarantines. However, this is a moment of time where you're going to have to sit with your mistakes because it doesn't look like the first time that you had an abortion. All right. It kind of looks like the only reason why spirit would do this to you is because you keep making the same mistake over and over again. And then you think that, oh, well, I can just fix it by going to pay $500 to get an abortion. That's not right. And if you find yourself falling into that cycle, you need to come talk to me. Okay, that is not right. All right, because it kind of looks like spirit is trying to push this. <laughs> they look like they're trying to push this situation out. So they look like they're wanting you to have a baby. They want you to have this baby, sort of as a remembrance of what not to do. So this is somebody that keeps making the same mistake and keep calling on God. God, please get me out of this situation. <laughs> but you find yourself in this situation another year from now or the next year from now. You understand what I'm saying? So they're doing this purposely. Basically, the, the, the whole nut in the caboodle is spirit is making Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, sit in the mess that they made. That's what this is all about. Sitting in the mess that you made. All right. And this is definitely talking about pregnancy 100%. Now, you might say, well, Bella, I'm not pregnant. Okay. Then what's going on is, yes, you're right. I'm messing with those signs. And he just disappeared on me. And I'm trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Then you need to check with his girlfriend's zodiac sign or, you know, her boyfriend's zodiac sign or whatever the case may be, because it looks like the reason why this person could be ghosting you, if they happen to be a water sign, is because they're in the middle of this whole pregnancy thing. 
You got me? All right. Let me pull one more story off. Okay. You could always get a personal reading. Don't torture yourself. Just book a personal reading. Okay. Are there any additional messages you have for the collective? Let me see the additional messages you have for the collective. Show me. First card out, Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess. <laughs> Everybody getting that High Priestess with this quarantine shit. Two of Wands and the Star. Under the Eight of Wands, we got the Two of Cups. Under the Knight of Pentacles is the Fool. Under the High Priestess is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, all my karmic soulmates. This is going to be relevant for you, so definitely tune in. Under the two of wands, we got the five of wands. And under the star, we have the ten of swords. Wow. Overall energy at the bottom of the decks, the knight of cup. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. You ain't going to like this. This is for all of my karmic soulmates. Karmic soulmates. You know if you're in a karmic relationship. And right now, it looks like you're forced to sit apart. You don't know where you stand right now. You're not You're not talking to your partner. You guys are not seeing each other right now. It could be due to quarantine. It could um, be due to their living situations where they can't get to you. Um, but you're wondering what the fuck is going on. All right? What's going on? Some of you are so antsy to move, you, you want to know, you know, you can't, it's so hard for you to navigate through the dark. This is the type of reading that spirit will give a person when they need just have a need to know everything. You know, you need to know, well, am I waiting on the right person? I mean, is it going to happen between us? Or is it going to come together? I need to know that, Bella. You know, you know how <laughs> I get a lot of these people that call me, you know, they're like, Bella, I just need to know. I just need to know I'm doing the right thing. Should I just sit here and wait on him? Is it really going to work out between us? You know, or should I sit here and wait on her? Like, is she going to come back? Let me tell you the way spirit wants to tell you, Okay. This is your karmic soulmate. There is still karmic lessons that are in play. High Priestess, Six of Pentacles. This part of your lesson. Remember, when you're with a karmic soulmate, it does not always mean that you have to be living together or in the same room or in the same bed. Okay? Sometimes spirit will separate you to learn individual lessons. All right? Now, this particular individual lesson is faith trust I'm gonna get deep y'all want me to take my gloves off okay give me one second y'all okay so listen to me and listen very closely it's not very often where I just pour out my soul and my heart during a reading I usually just give you a little briefing of the message I hit a little bit of your story but I don't give it all to you so I call these dropping jewels, these moments, all right? So let me let me talk to you and let me just come through your front door for a minute. All of you that are in a relationship right now and your history would look like everybody that you have hooked up with in the past has left you or you left them. Doesn't matter. You just broke up in a short amount of time. Finally, the universe brings you somebody that you can deal with. It's not perfect because nothing is, okay? That sense of perfection does not exist. <clears throat> but it gets to be your longest relationship that you've ever had going forward. You're not happy with what this person delivers to you. But you stay there because you don't want to be alone. It makes you feel good to just accomplish that year. Finally, I made it past the year mark. Finally, I made it past the two-year mark. 
when all of my relationships have been being dumped within the first three weeks, the first two months, the first six months. So you started to feel, excuse me, y'all. You started to feel a sense of accomplishment. Like this was really going somewhere. This could be my husband. This could be my wife. And then all of a sudden, spirit pulls the rug from under your feet. And this person begins to display behavior that you are not used to. That you have never seen them do before. My man went AWOL. He's not calling me. He's not returning my text messages. I don't know where I stand, Bella. Is it over? What is going on right now? Why did spirit do this to me? Now, let me tell you something. And you better listen. Whether this relationship is going to make it is contingent upon the way you can think through this separation. The way you're able to navigate through the dark. Close your eyes right now. If I told you to close your eyes and go into your kitchen and pour you a glass of milk. You live in that house every day. You know how to get to your kitchen. But if I take your eyesight from you and I tell you to feel your way around and go pour you a glass of milk, could you do it without spilling anything? For some of you, that is almost impossible. And you're probably going to cheat and open your eyes just a little bit so you don't bump into the wall. Why do you open your eyes just a little bit? Why do you cheat? Because you are not able to navigate through the dark. It, it, it's a fearful time. You're afraid. I might hit my head. I might bust my lip listening to Bella. I don't know if I could do this. Meanwhile, you're forgetting that you're in that house every single day. Some of you, two, three years, you've been living in the same apartment. So you can do this, clearly blind it, and not spill a thing. But the fear, the thought of hitting my head, busting my lips, is so big that it prevents you from doing what is already in you. It's an innate awareness that's already in you. So, so many of you are going to cheat, okay? So, pause the video, close your eyes. I want you to go into your kitchen, and I want you to pour you something to drink completely with your eyes closed. And I don't want you to cheat. And then comment in my comment section how many of you did it and succeeded without cheating and open your eyes just a little bit. Not many of you are going to be able to do that. That is what spirit is doing to you right now. They're taking your eyesight from you and they're expecting that you should be able to navigate through this relationship. This relationship marks a paramount. You have been dealing with this person for a year, 10 years, six years. I mean, years you have been dealing with this person. You know everything about this individual. But as soon as spirit takes your sight, he doesn't respond to your text. He doesn't call you. She doesn't reach out to you. You panic and you believe that it's over. So many of you want to run in the opposite direction and start a new relationship. Well, Bella, I don't want to be sitting here waiting on this person if he's not going to come back and passing up these good ass men that are trying to talk to me. Nobody does. Nobody wants that. Okay? But I'm telling you this. Right now, the separation that is taking place with a lot of you, if you are in fact in a karmic tie right now, there is no cheating that is going on. Your partner did not leave you for another individual. It is simply the universe teaching you how to navigate through the dark. And the competition that you have, two of wands, five of wands, is yourself, your own thoughts. Because as soon as the universe takes and turns something, in a way that you have never seen before, you automatically go into a fear. Why are they doing this to me, Bella? Because you have had nothing in your past but betrayal, 
things not working out for you. As soon as your ex don't call you, you automatically accuse them of cheating on you. You've destroyed beautiful relationships due to the fact of this is the same signs that I had with the one person that broke my heart. So there's going to be so many of you that are not going to be able to make it through this process. Because you have no faith and you have no hope that it's going to work out for you. I want you to consider how long this relationship has lasted. If this is a situation where you've always met someone and three months later the shit falls apart. I'm not talking to you. This is probably another situation that's going to fall apart. I'm talking to those of you that have reached a paramount. All of my relationships in the past have only lasted six months, Bella. This is the first relationship I had that has been going on for three years. He has never disappeared and not called me. She has never disappeared and not called me. Is it over? The same way you're used to being in that house. You know everything around that house. If I told you to close your eyes and go pour you a glass to drink, you should be able to do so with your eyes completely closed. If you cannot do that safely with your eyes closed, then you have been sitting in your situation and you have not recognized or paid attention to your surroundings. Meaning, you're putting this man or this woman in the same boat as what you've done in the past. This is a separation that has taken place. There's nothing we can do about it. There's no way that we can speed up this process. The issue or the times call for strength, inner strength, strength to reevaluate re in your mind. Well, he does love me. He's been here every day consistently, and then all of a sudden it was pulled away. Be careful not to put this same situation into the box of what you previously encountered. A lot of you are going to fail. You're going to destroy this karmic connection. Why? Well, because... You're not used to your person not calling you, not trying to talk to you, not seeing what's going on with you. You're not used to it. So you're going to start our arguments. <clears throat> you're going to accuse them of cheating. You're going to fall out. And for some of you, it's just easier to break it off with them because I think that they're already trying to break it off with me, Bella. And I'm telling you, Listen to me, my loves. My Bella Squad. Maybe I should call you. What's a nickname I can call my clan? Angry Bees. <laughs> Angry Bees. Okay? Listen to me. This is just a test from the universe. They got to teach you. You got to learn how to navigate through the dark. Bella, how do you do it? How do you have trust? How do you have faith? Because right now, me and King are separated. That's real shit. Shit. Me and King are separated at the moment. Let me be honest. Can I be honest? Okay. This is not King's behavior. King does not disappear and not check on me or not check on his daughter. After everything I've been through with this son of a bitch. I got to say it like that because, you know, I'm a bitter bitch right now. I'm mad at him right now. After everything I've been through with him. King has taught me the essence of aloneness. So I don't have a need to have a man. But that doesn't say that I didn't get pissed the fuck off and, and want to kill his ass and text all kind of angry shit. I did. I text all kind of angry shit. This is me. Fuck you, bitch. Don't come back to me, you motherfucker. I hope your goddamn truck blow the fuck up and you're in it and all. I said all kind of shit, Linda. Yes, I did. I did. 
I'm, I'm admit it. Because it felt like I was losing control. And I, just like you, have lessons to complete. I'm with my karmic soulmate. So they did this so quickly to me. I mean, we just reconciled February 12th. And once again, I'm going through another separation. So in my mind, I want to say, yeah, I knew this shit wasn't real. Why'd you call me in jail? You can't be a good man. You ain't no good man. I'm telling you the truth. I'm being raw, authentic with you. Now, I have to admit, it was not all him. He was doing something to piss me the fuck off, so I stopped calling him and shit, and I blocked the fuck out of him and, and said, fuck you. But as I look up and the time is moving, wait a minute, it's been two weeks, I haven't talked to King. It's been three weeks, I haven't talked to King. As the time is moving forward, I'm noticing there's a lot of space in between here. What was my first reaction? I'm going to look for my motherfucking twin flame. Fuck King and the boat he came in on. And as much as I wanted to look for my twin flame, no, Bella. No. We need you to sit in this energy and we need you to feel it. Because your twin is not available. Because this is a very important lesson. Silencing the inner being. We need you to silence the inner being. We need you to release the need to control a situation and be able to navigate through the dark. Now, some of you are going to ask, why do I have to go through this? Well, because most of your twin flames, your life partners, the person you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life, is going to trigger on this energy. And you have to have already have passed this test. Okay? So, I'm no different than you guys. Before I teach it, I have to go through it. So I'm, I'm telling you the truth, okay? I have come to the realization, you might do it differently than me, okay? But because of so much time I've put in with King, I've come to the realization I'm done. I'm going to walk away. So this Ten of Swords is me. I'm done. I am done. I don't want to play with you no more. I'm done. Some of you have more endurance than me, but I have been dealing with King for two years. And I noticed that this is not my king. This is not my knight in shining armor. And some of you called me stupid. You know, what the fuck are you doing, Bella? You were in union with your twin. Why did you end that and go back to king? And I'm going to be honest with my audience because I'm always real and made of glass to you. It didn't matter how many times you called me a fool. It didn't matter how much you said I was stupid. The fact remains is that I did not come to a conclusion of understanding the purpose of why King was in my life. And that is the worst type of hold for a person to have on you. When you do not understand why did the universe even bring you back? Because we didn't even make it work and you're fucking invisible. I did not have closure with that. Okay, so... It doesn't matter what he did. It doesn't matter that he used my subscriber and tried to talk to her or whatever, took our money, whatever. None of that mattered. What mattered is that I didn't understand the reason why he was in my life, why he still held on to me. Why? Why did I still think I wanted to fuck him? I'm telling you the truth. Why did... Do you know, and I'm going to be so th authentic, girl, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Y'all better listen. When I was with my twin, and King was in jail, and Spirit asked me, Bella, if we release King right now, would you take him in? I swear to God. I said, yeah, because I want to fuck him one more time. Why did I feel that? Why did I feel I wanted to have sex with him again? That was authentic. That's for real. That's what I really felt. I can't move on into my destiny. You got to remember the twin flame is the end. That's the end of my journey. There will never be another. I can't move on into my destiny thinking that I still want to fuck King one more time. 
So it was inevitable that the universe had to separate me and my twin. Does it mean I will never get my twin back? Absolutely not. Because I have never consummated with my twin. I give you my word. I've never consummated with my twin. I had to go back to seek closure. I had to go back to realize King ain't shit. He ain't gonna never be shit. He ain't gonna never amount to shit. He's not the man that I might have envisioned, that I might have wanted him to be. He's not. And so many of you have to see that for your partner as well. <laughs> so, everybody's not in the same boat. Some of you are coming to the realization, this motherfucker's a fraud. And it hurts like hell. We got the five of cups here, the star. This is on the ten of swords. Five of cups, the star, and two of wands. I'm coming to the realization that my whole relationship with this person was a lie. And it hurts. But now I'm free to move forward and to find what really works for me. And some of you will realize this is your partner that you're meant to be with for a very long time. But you have to learn the art of separation because you're too close to the situation. Okay, so this might be those of you that might, like I said, your previous relationships didn't work. They fell apart really quickly. You finally get a relationship the last two, three years or even more. And you're so caught up on this person. I'm talking about you laid out everything that you want, everything that you desire for what this person wants. The universe is going to separate you because you should never be so close to your karmic soulmate that you keep your mouth shut when they do something that hurts you, that you see this person as doing absolutely no wrong. Because remember the purpose of relationships, according to God, according to spirit, the purpose of relationships is to teach you about yourself to help you to connect with your higher self. So if you can't be honest with this person and tell this person how you really feel or if they're hurting you about something, then guess what? You're not doing the universe no service. So they're going to separate you. So some of you, they're just separating you so that you can have your sense of identity, self-identity. So that when you get back with this person, you can be very blunt, you can be very honest to say, listen here, motherfucker. That is not right. You can't carry a relationship disappearing on me. You can't carry a relationship disrespecting me. Treat me as your queen. Treat me as your king. You cannot have a healthy relationship and do me this way. Because you got to remember, for my women out there that are involved with men, you are fixing this man up. Or you're whooping his ass for every woman that he's dogged before you. For my men that are dating women... You are fixing this woman up and you're whooping her ass for every man that she has dogged. Same sex relationships, the same thing. The reason why the universe said, I'm going to make this person your karmic soulmate is because you have the blueprint on to changing this person's thought process and making them a better person, making them become whole. For those of you that are dealing with very, very narcissistic narcissistic, selfish men and women. It's a very tough job to do. King is a narcissist. King is a motherfucking dog. I'm going to tell you the truth. He's a dog. He hurts women. He uses women. He tells you he's going to be in a relationship with you. And he takes your fucking money. And that's the money he ends up paying my bills with or taking care of my daughter with. I'm telling you the truth. So is Bella in a relationship with this person and it's just happily ever after? Absolutely the fuck not. I'm whooping his ass for every woman that he's used. And that takes time. Book your personal reading. It's quarantine time. Let's talk. Come out of this quarantine with wisdom, with true knowledge. And who's the bitch that's going to teach it to you? Yeah, that's right. Bella Dutch. All seeing I tarot at gmail.com. I love you so much. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification bell. Share this video across all your social media. Share it with your friends and family. Because it's real and it's authentic. Tomorrow's not promised. I can die tomorrow. If I die tomorrow, I need to know that my angry bees is going to send my message forward. And we're going to have a 
bunch of wise individuals out here. That's what my legacy spoke for. That's what my time did for you. I love you. Until next time. Thank you, guys.